welcome this topic combined use of antimicrobials this is an important topic it has been asked three times it can also be called as fixed dose combinations of antimicrobial agents okay so either ways the question can come so you should please know what to write for this like basically what do you mean by the combination combination means one or more antimicrobial agents being given concurrently like in this diagram you can see rifampicin and isoniazid being given together as a combination probably for tuberculosis in this case so why is it being done why do they combine two or more antimicrobial agents so here are the objectives of using <clears throat> antimicrobial combinations to achieve synergism that means additive effect okay to achieve synergism to reduce adverse effects to prevent a resistance to broaden the antimicrobial action uh in that they have three points here mixed infection you can treat and you can also use for initial treatment of a severe infection topically you can give combinations of antimicrobials there will be faster treatment and there will be relapse prevention so relapse means what the disease will not come back there will be no relapse okay so for all these reasons antimicrobial combinations are prescribed do you have the information in your brain or should we go through it again let's go through it again synergism that is additive effect to reduce adverse effects to prevent resistance mainly you can say to broaden the antimicrobial action and if there is mixed infection you want to treat it if you want to do some initial treatment of severe infection that means suddenly you want to reduce the bacterial load in that case initial treatment you can use a combination topically they give antimicrobial combinations there is faster treatment prevention of relapse one thing you should know here you are trying to prevent the emergence of resistance however this also this combination itself can lead to resistance so you should be very careful how to use these combinations okay shall we move on to the next um, slide take a break let's move on to the next slide the first point here to achieve synergism synergism means additive effect so it could be a supra additive effect or an additive effect so basically there is something called as mic mic is what minimum inhibitory concentration of an antimicrobial agent if you combine two antimicrobial agents it can happen that you need very little quantity of an antimicrobial agent because there is presence of yet another antimicrobial agent so the minimum inhibitory concentration required can reduce if this minimum inhibitory concentration reduces to below 25% then it is called as supra additive effect if it reduces from 25 to 50% it is called as additive effect fine so there is additive effect and supra additive effect all these are going to be helping our antimicrobial agent you can combine two bacteriostatic agents or you can combine two bactericidal agents or you can combine one bactericidal and one bacteriostatic drug okay right first of all let us see the combination of bacteriostatic agents from the last video we hope you remember the bacteriostatic agents they are sulfonamide tetracycline chloramphenicol erythromycin clindamycin linezolid ethambutol let us look at the example here you can combine tetracycline chloramphenicol okay that much you should remember bactericidal what and all you can combine this one rifampicin with isoniazid you can also remember this one penicillin with streptomycin just look at this one penicillin is here streptomycin is under aminoglycoside right so you can combine them also we are done with the com combination of bactericidal drugs if you want to combine bactericidal with bacteriostatic you can combine let's say penicillin sulfonamide streptomycin tetracycline streptomycin chloramphenicol okay easy one then you should not forget clavulanic acid with amoxicillin let me give you that one amoxicillin or ampicillin with clavulanic acid 
This is very common. I myself have used this one. Amoxicillin with clavulanic acid. Okay. So this amoxicillin is going to be a bactericidal. Clavulanic acid basically is a beta lactamase inhibitor. So it is going to stop the beta lactamase which is being produced by the bacteria. Fine. Then you have combination of streptomycin and tetracycline. What I saw in the internet. This one. Streptomycin plus tetracycline. This one is used mostly in agriculture. It's mostly in agriculture. Okay. So hope you have got examples. Now let us move on. So far what we have seen. Let's revise once. We have been trying to look at the combination of antimicrobials. The objectives. Under objectives, the first one we started, synergism. And under bacteriostatic, we saw combination of tetracycline and chloramphenicol. Bactericidal, we saw combination of penicillin, streptomycin, rifampicin and isoniazid. Rifampicin, isoniazid used in tuberculosis. Bactericidal plus bacteriostatic we have seen like streptomycin with tre tre tetracycline, amoxicillin with clavulanic acid. Now let's move on to the next point, the next objective to reduce adverse effects. Basically there are some antimicrobial agents which have very high toxicity. Okay, <clears throat> there are some antimicrobial agents which have unacceptable toxicity. So if you combine them with other antimicrobial agents, you will need lesser quantity of these toxic antimicrobial agents. Example, you can combine streptomycin with penicillin G. This is nothing but a combination of the bactericidal. Okay. Other examples, if you want, you can learn. Usually rifampicin is combined with everything on earth. <clears throat> Moving on. To prevent the emergence of resistance for chronic infections, especially when you are doing prolonged therapy, you can use <clears throat> combination of antimicrobial agents so that you can prevent the emergence of resistance. This has been uh, uh, employed in tuberculosis, leprosy, HIV, all these need long term treatment, right? Chronic inflammation you have studied. Nowadays, they are using it for H. pylori also, malaria also, okay. So, for such reasons, you can use antimicrobial agent combinations. The fourth point here, fourth and last point, to broaden the spectrum of antimicrobial action. So, your spectrum of action will increase. So, to treat a mixed infection to for the initial so mixed infection means many type of bacteria, lot of types of infection, poor guy. So you want to treat that guy, you have to give a combination of antimicrobial agents. Initial treatment of severe infections. So this initial treatment we told you initially itself that you want to suddenly reduce the bacterial load. So for initial treatment and for topical because, because these antimicrobial agents are poorly absorbed topically. So you will give a combination like in this case neomycin, polymyxin, bacitracin. Okay, neomyxin, polymycin, bacitracin. Okay, so we have covered all the four points. Now let us look at the disadvantages of AME combinations. This will close this video, guys. This is the last slide in this uh, combined use of antimicrobials. The disadvantages. Adverse effects. See, you try to avoid adverse effects, some other adverse effect will be there. Super infections or supra, supra infections because all the bacteria, normal flora, many of them will die. Resistance is possible because if you are giving inadequate dose of non-synergetic drugs, if you don't combine them properly, there will be a resistance. Higher cost of therapy. Go with the easy ones here. So the disadvantages of Antimicrobial agent combinations, first of all adverse effects, then you have emergence of resistance, supra infections and higher cost. Fine. So let's revise very quickly what we have studied in this video. Combined use means what? Concurrently using more than one antimicrobial agent. 
Why would you do that to achieve synergism, to reduce adverse effects, to prevent resistance, to broaden the action of antimicrobial action, to broaden the antimicrobial action, to treat mixed infections, to give initial treatment, topical uh, you might need to give because they are not absorbed very well. Okay, so that is the reason you might want to combine it for topical. Fast treatment, prevent relapse. These are the objectives. Synergism, additive effect, supra-additive effect to reduce the minimum inhibitory concentration. You can combine two bacteriostatic agents or two bactericidal agents or bactericidal with a bacteriostatic. Combination of tetracycline, chloramphenicol. Combination of penicillin, streptomycin, rifampicin, isoniazid for tuberculosis. Bactericidal with bacteriostatic. Example, streptomycin with tetracycline for agricultural purpose we have seen. Amoxicillin with clavulanic acid. To reduce adverse effects, because some of these AMAs may have toxicity and you may want to reduce their dose so to reduce the dose, you can combine them with other antimicrobial agents. Again, streptomycin with penicillin G. This is a bactericidal, bactericidal combination. Have you mentioned that here? Bactericidal, bactericidal. Streptomycin and penicillin, yes. Streptomycin with penicillin. Bactericidal, bactericidal. Then, to prevent the emergence of resistance for chronic infections, for prolonged therapy, you will give AMAs. Example for tuberculosis, leprosy, HIV, malaria, H. pylori infections. To broaden the spectrum of antimicrobial action, like for a mixed infection, you might want to prescribe a antimicrobial agent combination. To give initial treatment to a severe infection, you can use a combination. And topically, you can give because they are not absorbed very well disadvantages, there will be some other adverse effects, there can be supra-infections and there can be emergence of resistance if you do not combine properly and there is higher cost of therapy. Everything done for you. See you. Bye-bye.